I'm Holly Resnick and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, Obama wants cops to wear cameras, computers are now the size of a stick of gum, and did North Korea hack Sony because of a Seth Rogen comedy? Hmm. Following the violent aftermath of the fatal shooting of Michael Brown in Ferguson, President Obama is allocating $75 million to fund body cams for police officers across the nation. No video of the confrontation between Brown and Officer Darren Wilson is known to exist, despite many police agencies' heavy reliance on dash cams and other video devices to record interactions with the public. Despite the low cost of body cam tech, they're essentially glorified cell phone cameras, relatively few officers wear them. But following Ferguson, the funding will outfit 50,000 officers with the devices, which studies show both dramatically reduces citizen complaints of police abuse and increases criminal convictions. Of course, there are also models for civilians as well. How do you feel about body cameras? Let us know in the comments section. Remember when computers were so huge you had to keep them under your desk? Well, okay, gamers, I guess you're keeping that trend alive. But for the rest of us, we're seeing a sudden wave of PC shrinkage that would make George Costanza proud, or cringe. Stick computers are suddenly a thing, spurred along by the rapid development of their close cousin, the streaming media stick. So how useful are they really? Well, this tiny PC, really, that's the whole thing, will run Windows 8 or Android 4.4. Just plug in a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse, and it will play HD video content and do everything else a regular-sized PC will do. It even has Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Novelty? Mm, don't bet on it. Intel is reportedly working on a very powerful stick computer. So stay tuned to this very small space. Sony is still working to restore a number of services, some as basic as inner office email, after they were brutalized by a hacker attack that reduced some workers to using paper and pencils to keep the tech giant operational. The hackers were able to brick computers by erasing hard drives, and they even posted some unreleased movies to the internet. So who's behind the attack? Many are pointing at North Korea, who tech experts say have stepped up their cyber warfare game recently. Also, DPRK big shots are apparently very ticked off at Sony for the latest Seth Rogen comedy called The Interview, in which the CIA drafts talk show host James Franco and his producer, played by Rogen, to terminate Kim Jong-un after they are granted an interview with the paranoid country's leader. Hilarious hijinks ensue, naturally. Of course, North Korea is totally denying any involvement, right? wrong. When asked if his country was behind the cyber strike, an official essentially said, wait and see. Okay. Well, that's DT Daily for today, and we'll see you again tomorrow.